a lot of okay. good. Good seal. Okay, now I got it. Okay. I don't know what I do. <laughs> now everybody look up here. Are you okay? And and watch her. Uh, uh, it doesn't look very comfortable. Mm -mm. She needs a longer eye time. Look at her filming over here. I know, right? Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for her to pass out I'm so we can make some money. <laughs> this is our president of the club. There you go. Life, so there you go. This is being a sassy. Does she look okay to you? No. no. She's getting all red. She kind of is. Yeah. Let's take her peak flow up to like 70 or 80 because she has a huge dip over there in her pressure waveform. She's, she's flow starved. So when you change this? Yeah, take, touch the 50 <laughs> flow. Yes. Okay. And then turn it up to like 70 or 75. And then accept. Okay, now we're turning her flow up. Which helps a little. I mean, she's getting, she's getting more flow, but... Better? No? She still has dips over there. Quit being a dip. <laughs> but they're not mm -hmm. good. Nope. So touch the box on the bottom left. This? Yep. Now go to uh, mandatory type and hit VC+. Plus. Change your title volume to 500. We're going to do the same thing we did for you. And then change her eye time to one second right next to it. The 0.72. This? Yeah, go to one second. Just one? Yep. We'll just start at one second. And look at her over here. She's like, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> Now the first the first breath is a test breath. You're whistling, it's okay. She's wanting to inhale. There we go. Now let's touch that. Let's go to the let me give her some room. Because this is what she's doing. Yeah. Are you gonna edit that into another scoop jam? Yes. Or a porn, one or the other. <laughs> no? Worse? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. fighting the vent. Yeah. Can, hey, can somebody give her some Narcan or tired. something? Okay, you got a little bit. Okay, so tight seal. <laughs> but you know what I'm going to do the second here, the leap? I'm going to fix this for me. Because... That was listening. I'm like, ooh. Too much. Too much flow. Too much? Yeah. Because now, in, remember in VC Plus, who's controlling the flow? Fiction is. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Better? No? It's a little better. I can hear it. You're not whistling. <laughs> that was the leak comp kicking in because there was a leak. That's a little bit better. She looks better now. Okay, now hit the box on the bottom left again. Go to spontaneous. Yep. And then put her on a pressure support of like six. See the zero there? Yep. Put her on like six. She just can't talk. That's what it is. That's why she's <laughs> hyperventilating. <laughs> and, this, and this gets hard, too. But didn't she sound like a nurse just then? Just calm down. 
Dom down. That's what my little granddaughter used to say. Dom down, Dwayne. Dom down. Now turn her pressure support down to like three. See where it says six? Yep. yep. Touch it. Just turn it to like three. And accept. We were giving her too much because remember, she's got normal compliance and resistance in her yeah. house. Mm -hmm. And we're forcing more upon her. Better. So, where would you put her on this vent in order for her to breathe perfectly? Oh, I'd have her on something different. Oh, it'd be, it'd all have to do with what she was in there for. Yeah, I would have her on that. But, you know, I, what we need to. Yeah. Yeah. PAV, PAV is, a, is a closed loop application, and that's where the ventilator is going to make assessments of her work of breathing without a catheter in. And she gets to control rate, flow, volume, pressure, eye time. It's all controlled by her. The ventilator then supports her. And then gives us uh, and why work do we of breathing. Use, well, I know why we use the other ones, but if someone's doing their own work of breathing, why don't we just? Why don't you just do it like that all the way all the time? Well, I know there's reasons. Because pulmonologists are hard headed. <laughs> but, you know, and, and I think for the first, when you have a disease process, I think controlling things for the first 24, 48 hours is fair. <laughs> I think that's really fair. And getting things under control, and then. You know, there's a lot of discussion, a lot of debate on it. Pretty cool? Okay. I'm going to show you something kind of cool. Here. I'm going to put it on my level. Now, if I told on there, we haven't learned about that yet either, but I have to see that. Yeah, you, you can do a plateau. Okay. I don't know what it is, but I didn't see it on there, so I see it on uh, there. You, just, you hit your inspiratory pause to get to get a plateau? So basically, you hit this to bring up your screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you guys all understand what a plateau pressure is? It would be a pressure. It would just be a pressure throughout the entire... Yeah, but what we're actually doing when we get a plateau? Yeah. Okay. So you get... So on a pressure waveform, you go up, you reach your peak, and then it'll come down, and let's say you set a one-second pause. So this becomes, mm -hmm. what is that? If this is peak inspiratory pressure, if I let it stabilize for one second, what does it become? It tells you what your alveolar pressure is. Right, I was going to say, what they have to do with keep it... More contact? Exactly. Okay. So we, we put the pressure in, then we hold it right. for a second or so. <laughs> Everything equilibrates, so pressure here is pressure here. Then we can tell what the alveolar pressure is. Take a break a minute. Take it out. Yeah, you can take it out. Okay. Can a sister get some humidity up in here? Some what? Thank you. That's what I said. <laughs> Just spit and swallow there, Jess. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hey, she lived.